this is really big. Yeah. This is, this is big. And this is all done on, on a little, you know, it could be on a little chip that could run on a watch battery. That's insane. Hello, IPXers. We know you love brain chip. We have the CTO with us. We don't often get to see Tony, the CTO from Brainchip, mm -hmm. and he has got something new to show us. This is the newest uh, FPGA box that we have. This is running our 2.0 IP. So IP, you know, we sell IP to customers who build chips. This is our second generation. Uh, the chips that this will build are going to be faster, and they're also going to be able to run a new type of algorithm that we developed at Brainchip, and that algorithm is called TENS. And what can TENS do for you? It's like the, the universal um, Swiss Army knife of neural networks. Okay. So we've done audio denoising. Yep. We've done keyword spotting, ASR, LLMs, everything. And what we find out is that not only can we can we do it, but we can do it with less energy, and we can do it with less chip space. As right. Well. And so it, it's it's like. And you call that tensing. Tens. Tens. T E N N S. T E N N S. Right. Okay. If T E N N S didn't exist, because this is new, mm. what would what what would our audience be? What would be their perception of the world without that? So you come along and say we can do it at lower power. Yeah. We do it in all the ways that you're just yeah. about to yeah. describe. So, so, so they would have their AI on the edge as well. Yep. And it would be dual use because not only would it run their AI uh, workloads, but they could also uh, heat up their hamburgers or sandwiches as well. So we take away that ability. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> because it runs. I think you've. I think you've made your point. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> so. This is our, our, our newest thing that we, we've released. Um, if someone wants to evaluate our IP, they would uh, get a, a box like this. They could run all our neural networks on this box. They could develop their own neural networks, et cetera. Right, so how do they do that today? Um, well, today uh, we have uh, a thing called a TENS no uh, cookbook, which will allow people, introduce people to the idea of TENS, what it means, what its benefits are, and how to design their own neural networks. Right. And then they can take those neural networks, run it through our normal software flow, and then deposit it on our, our IP. Right, so neural networks is not something that is new. Neural networks have been around a long time, and I would think that people are watching this video and uh, no brain chip will know what they're doing with neural networks, and they will understand. This, this is something different. Something, okay. something different. So, so that's the question that I was going to ask you. Mm. So if I'm used, if one, if I'm not used to that kind of environment, mm. or two, I think I'm used to that kind of environment, mm. what's the process by which they're going to learn? What's the, what's the, what's the things that are going to unravel in this cookbook for them? Mm. Yeah. Okay. People probably have experience with recurrent neural networks, and you know they, they love them because they're, they're very efficient at the edge, but they're really hard to train. Right. So our formulation allows you to train stuff with just ordinary workflow, with GPUs, et cetera. Very easy, it's very stable. It's easy to get something uh, into, into your, your neural network. Then we can fold that neural network into a recurrent fo form, which performs with great power efficiency and very fast uh, on our hardware. Right, is, and is that done in an intuitive way or what do they have to do in order they, for that they, to happen? They don't have to do, they, it, it, it's done automatically. It's done automatically, yeah. right, yeah. okay. Now, okay, I, I said it was a Swiss army knife. Yes. Uh, you know, so. You're, you're a man of many analogies. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. okay. But th this, is, uh, this is the thing that I'm, uh, I'm you know, really excited about right now. Yep, okay. let's talk about this. Yeah, so this is an LLM on the edge. Yep. Okay, so, um, you know, everyone is familiar with LLMs, ChatGPT, et cetera. Um, but there's a lot of use cases where you want to be able to talk to, say, machines, and you want them to do things intelligently. Yep. And an LLM can enable those machines to do that. Yep. Um, but you don't want to talk to the machine and then have that machine talk to the cloud, with all your private data, et cetera, yep. uh, wait for a while. It sends you a bill at the end of the month that you have to pay for, and then yep. it turns on your microwave. Yep. Okay, so we cut off the middle man. <laughs> You're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is good, isn't it, hey? Okay. Keep going. Okay, so uh, you can run everything on, on device. Okay, it, it, uh, it'll run for you. Your machines will, will understand what, uh, what you want out of them. Uh, and it's free, and it's private, and it's secure. Very so it's good. Got everything. Very good. Now, do you believe me? <laughs> <laughs> of course. 
<laughs> no, Tony, I don't believe you. I, mean, I, I think you're a dirty, rotten scoundrel. I don't think you know, there's a word of what you've just said in the last five minutes is the truth. Well, I have something that will prove you wrong. But I thought we might be going down that route. Um, so this is an interface. I don't know if we can get a, a close-up of this. Yeah, we can. Yep, yep. Okay. And this is, a, 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 this is a, an LLM that knows a little bit about a lot of things. You can also program it so that it knows a lot about a few things. So if you wanted to have very deep knowledge in a particular field, we can do that. But this one just knows a lot about it, uh, uh, a little about a lot of things. Okay. So I'm going to ask it a, a kind of technical question. Um, you know, what? So all of this, just so we're clear, we're doing all of this on the edge, we're doing all of this in low power, and we're all doing it with your IP. Yeah, yeah, right. and, and, and I can show you that it's, uh, it's also running without the internet. So if I just pop up a browser. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, yeah. let's, and, let's put this to the test. And, and so you hit that, it's, it's not connected to anything. Very cool, yeah. very so, cool. You know, there's no wires behind yep. it, yep. nothing. No, no yep. magic, right? So this is all- Real life demo. Okay, so what is a point of sale system? I can spell it right. And we'll see what it says. And so um, this is running on an FPGA. It's running uh, a lot slower than it would on an ASIC. Yep. It probably run you know five to ten times faster. Yep. Which uh, isn't the point of the demo anyway. No. The point of the demo no. is to see it, it doing. Show that, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. And so it's it's uh, you know so somehow it knows about point of sale systems as well as a lot of other things. So point of sale system is a system within a retail store to maintain a centralized database of sales information. Blah blah blah. And it'll keep going on. Yeah. 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 Amazing, amazing. And, and this is all done on, on a little, you know, it could be on a little chip that could run on a watch battery. That's insane. Yeah, it is insane. That is insane. It's, it's, it, it is. It's, this is really big. Yeah. This is, this is big. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're really excited about this. Where did you see the real life interactions? Where, okay. where do you, in other words, where do you see the future of this technology? Because it's one thing doing something that's incredibly clever. Mm -hmm. Clearly, this is incredibly clever. Mm -hmm. But you've done it for a reason. You haven't just done it for fun. You've done it for a reason. Yeah. So what's that reason, CTO okay. brain chip? Okay, so um, I like to think of things that, um, that every human being encounters every day. And yep. so one of those things are appliances. So you, know, you have a refrigerator, microwave, etc. One use case could be you walk up to your microwave and it doesn't have the traditional panel with dials and lights on it or anything like that. You just say, I have a half a pound of chicken, cook it. And uh, you open the door, put it in, and it knows exactly how to cook it perfectly for you on your behalf. That would be the simplest application yeah. uh, that I could think of. So that's, that, that, I mean, that is intuitive machine interaction. Yeah. I think and, I might have just made up a phrase, intuitive machine interaction. Okay, we're going to trademark that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I am, you're not. But anyway, keep going, keep going. Okay. You can have it also, you can ask, uh, ask it to set your dishwasher. You know, I have, I have a, a name brand dishwasher. It has a bunch of little buttons. So, I never read the manual. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, I mean, I, has anybody, you has have... anybody read a manual for the last 20 years? Let's be honest, it's the biggest waste of paper in the history of the world. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. And okay. so you could just describe, you know, I have a heavy load. I really want my pots clean. Take care of it. And it, it does all the settings for you. Yeah. You could uh, pop into, if you ever rent a, a car, you can hop into the car and you're trying to figure out how do I connect my phone to the, to the you know, blah, 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 so I can you know, make you, phone calls. It's that, that's, that's, I can answer that question. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you ask your son. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> if your son is not with you. <laughs> he was not in the car. He's not in the car. Yeah. Then I this would, would be like your artificial son. I would talk to the car. Yeah. I know your point. Right. right. Okay. And, and so it could, it could figure out, it could read the manual and then figure out how to answer your, your questions. Right. So what you're actually showing here, which is why this is so cool, mm -hmm. and it's cool to have the CTO from, from, from Brainchip actually talking about the technology, because at the end of the day, you're, you're actually the person driving it. You're the person who's had to invent and it. Um, uh, and and your team, I know, yeah. but you're the leader of that team. So we are actually now talking about uh, generative AI. We're actually yes. talking about machines interacting with human beings mm -hmm. in the way that you would expect a human being to. So, I mean, I know you yeah. use a silly example, but let's say you did get in the car mm -hmm. and you wanted to connect your phone mm -hmm. or you wanted to, uh, obviously, I know we have, we, 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 we talk to assistants all the time, but the point is we talk to assistants, but they are connected mm -hmm. are, and they are, They've got huge amounts of power behind them. Right. You're describing situations where you can give that solution where you are 
obviously not connected mm -hmm. and running off extreme low power. Yes, we have that. No, no, no. I just want to go a little bit further. Please do. Okay. Please do. So I gave you a couple examples, you know, talking to machines, etc. But these uh, LLMs are pretty sophisticated. So that you just saw that it, it can tell what a point of sale system is. You yeah. Know? And you know, yep. that, that's probably much smarter than you need for a, a toaster. Yes. Now, I'm just, I'm guessing. I'm yes. Guessing. Yes. But uh, you know, there's another thing that uh, that people are interested in. They're interested in building social robots. So oddly, it turns out that each of us will get old at some point, and need and and need some sort of assistance. You know, it might be a shock <laughs> to, uh, to some of your viewers, but it, it, it happens to the best of us. Um, let's not talk about that, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's, it's, it's let's, avoid that. <laughs> yeah, let, let's not talk about getting older. Yeah. We don't do that. No, no. Or you could have kids uh, and that you, you want an intelligent companion so they could interact with it, learn, etc. Yeah. Now, do you want everything that your kid says to go up to a cloud and be recorded? Do you, or if you're an elderly person, do you want the uh, possibility? I sometimes wonder say, whether I even want these recorded. Are let, let, being <laughs> recorded? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's getting to the end of the day and the end of the show. <laughs> keep going, Tony. Keep going. Hold okay, it together, okay. man. Hold it together. Okay. We're doing a very Good. serious technological yeah. video here. This is going to be very important for humanity. It is. You're right. No, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. I mean, let, we're going to be serious. I've been, I've been following a lot of stuff on demographics, mm -hmm. right? Serious. Now we're being serious. If you take countries like Japan, Mm -hmm. Their demographics now are one person worker to one person retired, mm -hmm. one to one. Mm -hmm. In the UK today, it's three to one. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I first started working, it was 10 to one. Mm -hmm. So you're actually making a very serious point yeah. because we are within, a, just with that example, what did you, would you call it a social? A social uh, robot. Social robot. Mm -hmm. So if you think of care, mm -hmm. which is a very serious issue in, in, in all of our society, if you can facilitate care using a machine for, or a robot mm -hmm. that is actually bringing value mm -hmm. and it's not connected because in the same way whether it was a small child or whether it was our age or with somebody older, mm -hmm. you don't want that disappearing off to the cloud because that is, that is information that you want to keep private. Exactly. Because there's all sorts of things could be, medical things could be discussed, mm -hmm. banking could be discussed, mm -hmm. but giving people, shall we say in their, in their, in their autumn years, independence is incredibly valuable because we don't have enough people to look after them no we don't we're just not going to have enough people to look after no. them being serious now we're just not going to have enough people so we have to when when, when people are saying uh, on a serious note when people are saying we're very worried about ai you know we have these big political discussions and these big social discussions about ai and whether we should allow it into our world you've just brought up actually a very serious issue because if you can have social robots that could help an elderly person mm -hmm. with something like medicine mm -hmm. banking mm -hmm. interaction mm -hmm. cooking shopping lists heating anything else around the house that is incredibly valuable in the world of the demographics that we are facing in the modern world today yes because we don't need people to be looking after people all the time. And if we can find very useful ways with using technology like that, this, which you're able to exemplify, mm -hmm. that's actually very, very powerful. I think so. Sorry, I just got very serious there for a moment, didn't I? Yeah. And it, I absolutely agree with you 100%, yeah. 110%. Yeah. And this is something that could, you know, the toaster is nice, the, the, the example. Yeah, but it's ridiculous, nice. but it's ridiculous. But yes, but, but helping human beings yes. live better lives, which they deserve to live. Yes, you know, it, it is a noble cause. Yeah, yeah. And you're showing. So I asked you a question about where realistically mm -hmm. is this going to lead us? Because mm -hmm. we can talk all day about edge AI. We can yeah. talk all, all day about you know all the things that we want to do. But we've got to start realizing how is this going to come to fruition? How, where is this leading us? Mm -hmm. How it's going to bring value to to humanity? So you're just showing a fun, non-connected, complicated, um, large language model, mm -hmm. talking, understanding, disconnected, very low power, mm -hmm. but it's the platform on which we might be able to build very interesting things in the future. And, and you're a CTO and build a bit, and you're a CTO and that's your job. It is. <laughs> Excellent.
Okay. Tony, I think we're done. All right. Thank Very you. good. Thank, Thank you. you.